Okay, so we've been given this DWF file, and I know that with our viewer here, Autodesk Design Review 2013, uh, we can view it. We can print it. We can print it to scale most of the time. Uh, we can take measurements. So if I click the measure tool here and measure from here to here, it shows 6 foot 11 inches, and the uh, existing dimension shows 6 foot 11 inches. So I feel pretty secure in that it's uh, accurate. But we have one issue, and that is uh, members of our design team, or even us, we need uh, PDF files. And instead of um, asking for the provider of this DWF to also provide PDF files, we can do it ourselves. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure of a few things, though, that once, it be, once we publish it to PDF, that it ends up as a 27-page PDF, because right now it's a 27-page DWF, and that we can do what you just saw, and that was measuring... Uh, with accuracy. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to come up here to print, and for my printer, I'm going to pick Bluebeam PDF printer. Okay, uh, I have a few other selections to make here. Um, for print range, I'm going to pick all, meaning I want a 27 page PDF instead of just the current sheet, or we can be more specific and say pages 1 to 3, or 15, 16, and 20, but in this case, we want all the pages. Okay, and then I, I noticed something here. The original size, that DWF was intended to be on a 36 by 24 inch sheet. Uh, but right now, our paper size is set to 11 by 8.5. We want to make sure that the original and my paper size match. So I'm going to go to uh, paper sizes here, and I'm going to look for 24 by 36. And there we go. So now we have a paper size match. Okay. I'm not worried about any of the other settings right now. The preview looks good, although it's only showing one sheet. Uh, I feel confident that they're all going to look uh, similar. So I'm going to click OK, and then we're going to wait for the publish to take place. Now, Bluebeam PDF Review is my uh, PDF publisher, my do-everything PDF tool. So once this is finished, we'll open it in Bluebeam Review and see if that accuracy is there. Okay, now that the PDF has been published, I want to make sure of a few things. Um, I see that it is a 27-page uh, PDF file. Um, there's page 26, 27 to right here. Um, and, you know, I was concerned about accuracy. So I'm going to scroll up to one of the sheets that actually has some, some dimensions on it, like the one we were looking at before as it was a DWF file. Okay, so I found that same sheet that we were measuring before when it was a DWF file, and I'm going to do the same thing in Bluebeam PDF Review. So I'm going to click my measure tool. I'm going to snap to the ends here and snap to here. And I see that it's off a little bit, but that's not really an issue for me because what I can do and should do every time I'm measuring is calibrate. So I'm going to tell this PDF what this distance is. So from here to here is not three foot. It's going to be 6 foot 11 inches. So 6 foot 11 inches. Okay, and now this sheet is calibrated, meaning I can measure that and get 6 foot 11 inches. But let's see if, uh, if our other dimensions are accurate as well. So I can snap from here to here, and I get 17 foot 8 inches. So I'm satisfied with the accuracy uh, now that it's calibrated. But you know, something that I didn't have when this was a DWF file was sheet names that made sense. So if I go back to design review and open up my sheets, you'll see that the sheet names, uh, they're, they're a little long. I would like to kind of truncate those into sheet numbers, something that makes uh, uh, a little more sense to our design team. So what I'm going to do is go back to review and see that they're just numbered. Even though they're represented here, on each and every sheet right here uh, the sheet names really don't don't reflect that so here's what I can do I come up here to create page labels and I'll click get rectangle and I'm just gonna draw a bounding box around that sheet number okay watch what happens here to the sheet names as soon as I click OK Okay, so 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, they're all named 
uh, the way I want them to be. So I'm satisfied now. Um, I can apply security to this. I can redact some information. All the tools we have available to us in Bluebeam PDF Review are now available to us on this plan set. So thanks for watching.